Before we get into today's video, be sure to go over and follow me on Rumble, BitChute and Odyssey. YouTube's deplatformation of me and shadow banning of my content is getting worse. They're actively removing videos, saying it's one thing when it is actually something entirely different. So links to those will be in the description down below. Be sure to go over and follow me. There will be some exclusives for those sites in the future, but for now, my videos from here will export there. So you will not miss any content so without further ado let's get into today's actual video shall we hello everyone i know i am a little late to this one but i've been trying to wait for this to reach its inevitable conclusion and indeed it has finally done so biden declares that trump MAGA republicans present present clear and present danger to our democracy threat to this country how do you think that is going to end up? Well, we're going to get there in the end, or work through this, so without further ado, let's get uh, get into it. Over 74 million Americans voted for former President Donald Trump in 2020, and according to President Joe Biden, they present a clear and present danger to our democracy and threat to this country. In fact, I actually put up a video, not earlier on in this week, just a small snippet of something and youtube have not only gone and they've removed it as misinformation around the 2020 election considering what i actually presented was democrats questioning the 2016 election but i can't speak much more of that on youtube because they will remove this video as well so anyway speaking in front of a dark red lights and a pair of marines biden de delivered a speech titled battle for the soul of the nation outside american independence hall in philadelphia pennsylvania on september 1st fewer than 10 sentences into his speech i do apologize my mouse is atrocious uh declared that equality and democracy are under assault but tonight uh, we do ourselves no favor to pretend otherwise he said but tonight we come to this place where it all began to speak as plainly as I can to the nation about the threat we face, about the power we have in our own hands to meet these threats, and about the incredible future that lies in front of us if only we choose it, the president continued. Biden went on to say that the work that, he, that the work of his presidency is to build an America that is more prosperous, free and just. That's why you're in a recession and you're talking about, well, talking about half of the country as if they're some kind of, well, lepers. Uh, the president asked America to be honest with each other and ourselves in that, quote, too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. I agree. A senile old fool being in the helm should not be normal. At this point, Biden took aim at the Americans who voted for his political opponent in the 2020 election, branding them extremists. Or sorry, extremists. Uh, Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic, the uh, president said. So what are you? Are you a democracy? Or are you a republic? Because you can't be both. Anyway, Donald Trump, uh, Biden added that added the caveat that he's not talking about, quote, mainstream republicans who are willing to work with him on his democratic policies. Oh, you're talking about the, well, the rhinos, in effect. Yeah, I want to be very, very clear up front. Not every Republican, Republican, not even a majority of Republicans, are MAGA Republicans. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something like 90-odd percent of Republicans favour Donald Trump. So, yes, it is a majority of Republicans. Not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology. You See, when I was listening to this speech, and I'm going to go on a bit of a caveat, because I can. When I was listening to his speech, when he said uh, not every Republican embraces their extreme ideology, all I could think of was when their extreme ideology is accountability for themselves, more money for them, less taxes, greater school choice, no wars, and creating jobs. How is that an extreme ideology? Creating jobs in America for Americans. I mean, how extreme is that? Well, I mean, when you're left of Starling like Biden is, then yeah, I'm pretty sure that is extreme. But to normal people, that's just 
what they want to be like every single day. Have work, have money, live freely. I mean, I know I do, so there we go. Now, Biden continued, but there's no question that the Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. So what is it? Is it not even not even a majority of Republicans, or is the party dominated and driven by them? It cannot be both. Again. Anyway. And that is a threat to this country. These are hard things. How is it a threat to the country? I really don't understand. The president stated that he is the president for all Americans before continuing to blast those who preferred his opponent. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. I mean, you're trying to get rid of guns and you do not believe in freedom of speech. You literally want to censor things about your son being a crackhead and knocking up a prostitute. But that's neither here nor there. That's a video for another day. Uh they do not recognize the will of the people and refuse to accept the results of a free election again cannot say anything about that because youtube will basically censor me isn't it weird that you can't say anything about the most freest election in history yet that's all they did for five years yeah that says something and they're working right now as i speak in state after state to give power to the side of uh, to, the, to the side elections in America, to partisans and cronies empowering election deniers and undermine democracy itself. So they're undermining democracy by wanting people to vote for them. How does that even make sense? Like, if I, my nan, God rest her, she's ash in the ground. Even she would come up, uh, be able to tell you how that is a contradiction but anyway Trump supporters Biden said are a threat to the very soul of this country I mean it's not Trump supporters going around killing people but as I said we'll get to that mega forces are determined to take this country backwards backwards to America where there is no right to choose no right to privacy and no right to contraception no right to marry who you love that is simply incorrect in fact it's Trump's judges appointees who have given that right back to the people to choose. Before, it was a federal mandate. Now, it's up to each individual state to vote for what they want. Such tyrancy. Uh, they promote authoritarian leaders, they fan the flames of political violence, and they, that are a threat to our personal rights, to the pursuit of justice, the rule of law, and the very soul of this country. Anyway. He yabs on about it. I'm pretty sure you've all seen it by now. But luckily, the vast majority of the population and the public rejects by, rejected Biden's divisive speech. The vast majority of voters believe President Joe Biden's Philadelphia speech was a divisive, partisan and inappropriate mistake, according to at least to the latest Harvard-Harris poll. Instead of representing an honest effort to protect democracy, 60% of voters said Biden only delivered a speech to distract from his disastrous records on high inflation and complete border chaos. While Biden's overall approval rating did rise to 41%, with 55 disapproving, his approval ratings in, on immigration and inflation have stayed lower than 37% and 36%, respectively. Inflation was Biden's worst issue, followed by a tie between immigration and the economy for second lowest. Asked which issues were most important to them, inflation was... Uh, the top worry at 39% with jobs in second at 26% and why are you just shifting on me? Uh, and immigration in third at 22% only 8% of voters said January 6th was an important issue and just 7% that voting rights over half of voters 56% said they opposed Biden's Philadelphia speech with a full 60% saying the speech divided the nation 52% of voters said it was inappropriate for Biden to call President Donald Trump and his supporters a threat to the country, and 56% said it was inappropriate to label them semi-fascists. But that's neither here nor there, because a majority of Democrats actually believe there are tens of millions of dangerous MAGA Republicans. I'd like to see where, because, again, it's not... Donald Trump supporters who are going around killing people 
the only people in recent history that have actually gone on to kill people are Democrats and those who support Democrat policies. Most Democrats believe that there are tens of millions of dangerous MAGA Republicans, a Harvard Caps Harris poll released in September found. The survey followed President Biden's angry speech in which he demonized millions of Americans deeming MAGA Republicans a great threat to the very foundations of our republic. The poll asked voters, do you think there are tens of millions of dangerous MAGA Republicans backing violence and trying to overthrow the Constitution, or is that a gross exaggeration and distortion? I mean, that's precisely what Biden was declaring in his speech, that everyone who voted for Donald Trump was a semi-fascist and was out there trying to, well, basically harm people. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, it says here that, say, I think 74 million voted for Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, 74 million Americans voted for Donald Trump. So that would mean tens of millions of dangerous Braga Republicans. The survey was taken September 7th slash 8th, 2022, among 18, 1,885 registered voters, which is a huge sample size for something like this, and follows Biden's angry September 1st speech in which he stated that Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. And here, in my view, is what is true. MAGA Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They do not believe in the rule of law. They do not recognise the will of the people. As they go on and basically just reiterate what I've told you. But isn't that amazing? There are, what, majority of them believe? What did, uh, what did I say the actual number was? Uh Notably, a Convention of States Action Trafalgar Group survey released last week found 58.7% of voters expressed a belief that Biden has in fact divided the country. I mean, yes, but the survey found that 59% believe Biden is raising these, uh, these issues about MAGA Republicans to avoid taking inflation. P mostly people believe that Biden is just out there to distract. 54% is exaggeration. Forty-six percent believe there are, in fact, tens of millions of dangerous MAGA Republicans. Forty-six percent, and seventy-three percent tend to believe the uh, divisive rhetoric, and they they tend to believe what Biden is saying. That's how far off the deep end they've gone. That he'll shout out there and just shout out things that aren't representative of reality. I mean. This is representative, uh, re representative, re let me try that again, representative of reality. North Dakota man admits to running over and killing a teenager for allegedly being part of a, quote, Republican extremist group. This is the reality. You have Democrat people who sit there and listen to Biden's speech saying, MAGA Republicans and anyone who supports Donald Trump is out here trying to actively subvert democracy or dangerous or extremists and this is how they react i mean they like to say that donald trump saying things is stochastic terrorism basically because donald trump say says something his vote his supporters will go out there and harm someone in his honor i mean that has yet to happen but if that is stochastic terrorism then what is this A 41-year-old North Dakota man has admitted to intentionally running over and killing a teenager, claiming that it was because he was involved with a, quote, Republican extremist group. The incident took place at approximately 2.30am on September 18th in McHenry. In the moments before his death, Kayla Ellingson, 18, called his mother for, uh, for help because Shannon Brandt, 41, was chasing him in his SUV. Ellingson was on foot after leaving a street dance that he had just attended. The teenager asked his mother if she knew the man, which she did, but she does not believe that her son knew him, according to a report from the uh, Grand Folks Herald. By the time the mother arrived at the scene, Ellingson had been killed. Brandt had called 911 to confu uh, sorry, and confess that he intentionally ran over Ellingson. He told the police that they had got into an argument and that the teenager was part of a, quote, Republican extremist group. I mean, the dude is 18 years old. This was probably going to be his first election cycle. How can he be part of an extremist group if he's not even voted for anyone yet? I mean, that's just 
beyond stupid to even suggest. But anyway, this is the kind of ret- this is the kind of end that Joe Biden's rhetoric will see. If it's stochastic terrorism for something like that, uh, for Trump to say something and it to happen, then this is stochastic terrorism. And I reckon, based on the left's own usage of the word, Biden should be on the hook for this. It's only fair and it's only equal, right? Uh, according to law for, uh, law enforcement, Brandt was drunk at the time of the killing. We do not, do not know of any witnesses who are still making... Uh, sorry, we are still making attempts to interview potential witnesses from the street dance, people that were present prior to the crash happening. It wasn't a crash, uh, Captain Brian Newland. It was an intentional homicide. I mean, yes, but it was an intentional running over. On Monday, Brandt was charged with vehicular homicide and leaving the scene of a deadly accident. It wasn't an accident. It was intentional. So that's that charge right there is wrong. The police department told the paper that more serious charges may be added later. The judge ordered Brandt be held on $50,000 bail, which he objected to, citing his house, job and family. So I have a job, a life and a house, and things I don't want to see go by the wayside. Family that are very important to me. I mean... This guy was, Ellingson was important to his mother, yet you intentionally run him over because you sat and listened to Joe Biden's speech and where he said that anyone who supported Donald Trump was an extremist. extremist. If convicted, Brandt faces a maximum of 20 years in prison and a likely minimum of 10 prior to a DUI conviction. Uh, sorry, due to a prior DUI conviction. A GoFundMe to help the Ellingson family cover funeral expenses and other costs has already raised nearly $5,000. Uh, let me just give that a quick click. It's now raised $45,000. So, this has done something. Kayla went uh, to heaven and will be missed by his mum, dad, brother, uncles, aunts, cousins, many family fr- and friends. The fundraiser description reads... With this being said, I would like to set a goal to help Sherry Cole and Chase with funeral expenses and anything to help them through this whole grieving process. And that results that. But when it comes to Biden's rhetoric that MAGA Republicans represent a threat and clear and present danger to democracy and a threat to their very country, this is the natural end to that rhetoric. Then people who follow him and support him going out and killing anyone who supports his political opponent. That right there is the sheer and utter fascism. I know that word gets thrown around a lot, but in this case it's an actual apt description. Because not only are people going out and killing based on the words of their dear leader... But Biden's rhetoric is seeping through to social media and the FBI because obviously they go the FBI is going to social media companies and telling them what to censor, who to censor, and who to kick off the platform. Like the Department of Justice went to Facebook and told them not to allow the publication of the Hunter Biden laptop story. Something that has always that has that people have already said that if they knew, they wouldn't have voted for Biden. Some 10% of people, or 7% of people, or something like that, say enough that would have swung the election to Trump's favour. That right there is actual subversion. But anyway, I can't speak on that, otherwise YouTube will kick me off. Anyway, let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments, and obviously, as I said at the beginning, go follow me on alternate sites, otherwise... YouTube will continue doing what they're doing. If you'd like to support the channel, links are down below. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.